Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Crude here. Today I'm going to be talking about your annual card. Now if you have been watching my channel you may be aware that I am obsessed with tower birth cards and I've done a video on how to work out your tower birth cards and I've also done lots of readings now according to what your tower birth card is and I will leave you a link for all of this in the description box below as well. Now everyone is talking about, you know, this year is going to be the chariot year, um, which is interesting, you know, you're just adding 2023 together, which gives you um, number seven, which gives you the chariot uh, year. But you can work out your annual card, which is going to be much more personal to you, because basically you go through the same process as with your tower of birth card, but instead of using your, your year of birth, you're going to use um, 2023. So I'm going to work out with you a few examples so you can see how to do that and it's really not complicated I'm not very good at maths and I had no problems doing that and then I'm going to tell you why it is kind of important to um, do that because it's going to give you some new insights so um, let's just say that you were born on the 14th of June so you would put 06 which is your month then you would put the 14th and then you'd add 2023 okay instead of your year of birth so that obviously gives you uh, 2040 and then you minimize those numbers so 2 plus 4 is 6 which means that in this case your annual card would be the lovers now you do not need to reduce your total unless it goes above 22 because 22 is the full card and then after that there are no major arcana so you would have to reduce it again so I'll give you another example um, let's say you were born on the 15th of December so you put um, December you put 15th and then you put 2023 and this gives you 2050 which in this case your annual card would be the chariot um, let's say you're born in October the 29th, 2023. Now this would give you 2, 6, 8, 10. That would be the Wheel of Fortune. And I'll do one last one with you. So let's say you're born on the 31st of November. So November is 11, then you put 31st, and again 2023. And that gives you... 2065 so when you add up 2 and 6 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 and that would be the death card okay so as I said um, unless you go above 22 then you you can just keep it as because we've got 22 uh, major arcana now the reason why this is interesting is because you can use your annual card as a as a yearly forecast and you know it's going to help you um, harness the opportunities and overcome the challenges and make sure that you stay on track because you are aware of this extra energy going on. Um, the other thing as well, if your annual card matches your tarot birth card, then you are in for a very, very interesting year. It means that your soul's purpose and the lessons that you are meant to learn are going to be greatly intensified. So it's a really nifty extra bit of information for you to think about your year um, when you look at your tarot birth card, the fact that next year is the chariot year, then you have your annual card and then you can watch the reading for your tarot birth cards yearly and also your um, star signs which um, I have posted already last week. So I hope you found this interesting and um, I will be obviously posting your tarot birth card readings very soon and I'll see you again very soon hopefully. Until next time, au revoir.